Hello friends, how you all doing? It's Angelina Dima from Bokenshi World. In this video we are bringing you another gear review of a Nightcore NU33 headlamp that we got not so long ago. We needed to buy a new headlamp because our old one began to break apart. So we were grateful that we found this piece of gear. We already had a bit of time to test and use it and it made an impression of a very powerful multifunctional device that looks durable, compact and light. But we won't tell you everything just yet, keep on watching the review for that and we are ready to share all the details with you. The headlamp comes very nicely packaged in the box and you get the original USB Type-C cable and an instruction with it. As always we'll begin by technical specs of the product stated by the manufacturer. The product dimensions are 62.3 mm by 46 mm by 35.6 mm and the weight is 95.5 grams. It has the maximum output of 700 lumens and upgraded optical lens system. The light transmission is over 94% and is able to reflect a uniform and soft light protecting the vision. Its maximum beam distance is 135 meters and the flat beam range is 100 degrees. The front housing is made of aluminum metal providing high efficiency heat dissipation and the rest from durable polycarbonate. There is a built-in 2000 mA high capacity Li-Ion battery that is able to charge in 1.5 hours. They state that it is able to run for a maximum of 147 hours on low mode and has a constant brightness beam without flashing. It is waterproof, dustproof and impact resistant to 1 meter. Next we'll proceed to listing headlamp features. Its front housing, as already mentioned, is made of aluminum. The back consists of polycarbonate. Also there is a strap attached to it that has four positions. On the top of the headlamp there are two buttons, the power button and the mode button. On the opposite side at the bottom there is a rubberized plug and a type-c port for charging. The headlamp is protected from humidity and rain but not suitable for dipping into water. There are four power indicators on the side to show the remaining battery level. On its front side there are three light sources. The headlamp has an elastic headband with a very comfortable adjustment system so you can adjust it to the size of your head. There are reflective strips on it. I would like to share how we use it more in detail. To turn on the headlamp you need to hold the power button for a second and the center light will turn on in the mid light mode of 60 lumens. The headlamp can also be turned on with the mode button, also holding it for a second and then the red light will turn on. Once you have turned on the flashlight, you can switch between the light sources with the mode button. After you have selected the light source you need, you can short press the power button to change its light modes or brightness levels. The rightmost light source, if looking up front, is called an auxiliary white light and it has a diffuse light and two brightness levels, low 50 lumens and ultra low, 6 lumens. The light source in the middle is a directional primary white light with three brightness settings. Turbo, 700 lumens, high, 200 lumens and mid, 60 lumens. And on the left there is a diffused red light that has two modes. One mode is constant on and the other is slow flashing. The strength of the light doesn't change. Regardless on which mode you turn off the headlamp, the next time you turn it on, it is always reset to default mode. The headlamp has a lockout mode from accidental activation in a backpack for example. To turn it on, you need to press the mode button and the power button at the same time for 2 seconds. After that, the middle light will flash 3 times. This will mean that the headlamp is locked. To exit the lock mode, you again need to hold down two buttons at the same time for two seconds and then the headlamp exits this mode. 
A short quick press on the mode button displays the battery level with four blue indicators. You can always be sure of the charge level of your headlamp. Long press the mode button turns on the red light. Two short presses on the mode button turn on the SOS mode. When you are in SOS mode, shortly pressing the power button will switch you to the back on mode. Two short presses on the power button turns on the auxiliary white light on ultra low mode. With the help of the rear frame, you can direct the light to the most comfortable position for you. Moving on to the performance test we did and our thoughts about headlamp. The headlamp has a built-in Li-Ion battery with a capacity of 2000 mAh at 3.7 volts. The headlamp is rechargeable by the USB Type-C port. The center primary white light shines very strong in a turbo mode. When using this mode, you can easily make yourself daylight in any place. And when I first tested it, this headlamp was able to light up the entire bedroom like an ordinary light bulb. And this was very unexpected. At that very moment, we realized that we had not had such a powerful headlamp before. It makes any place very lit. And inside the tent, it is more than you ever need. In the high or mid mode, it will be most useful on different occasions. But for example, if you lost something in a tent, say a needle or any smallest tiny thing, you'll be able to find it quickly. It beams through any obstacle and even in the darkest night in the deepest forest, you'll be able to find your way. The stated maximum beam distance of 135 meters is not exaggerated. We've tested its visibility through more than a kilometer and it was still able to lead the objects on such a distance. It sometimes feels like a laser light, with no kidding. Its SOS mode and back on mode can be very helpful in unforeseen and dangerous situations, when you are lost and want to give a sign of your location. We are sure that it will be convenient to use in a tent, because it has many versatile modes. For example, the ultra-low mode is good in situations where you don't want to give yourself away and draw attention to yourself, whether in a tent or outdoors. We really liked ultra-low mode in the tent before, especially when stealth camping. And we had to cover the light sources of our previous headlamp with pieces of paper so that it wouldn't shine so brightly. The red light is also very useful for the same purpose. Since it is very hard to see, and it's barely distinguishable from the outside. So with this light, the tent will be even less visible. But at the same time, you will still have light, and you'll be able to see the necessary items. It is very nice and convenient that the buttons are made of different shapes, round and square. It is very thoughtful of the manufacturer, as they can be distinguished even in the dark. Just bat the touch with one hand, and you won't confuse the molds anymore. Talking about the flaws of the product, this is one of the rare cases when we tried to find the flaws, but we couldn't. And it is not typical of us usually. Compared to a previous headlamp, it has no disadvantages. Its maximum output was half the glow of this new one, and at the same time there was no ultra-low mode. It seemed to be the middle mode all the time. The only thing we can mention as a warning, as it is not recommended to touch LED light, while it being on the strongest turbo mode. You can literally burn your finger if holding for some time. In addition, we wouldn't recommend staring at the light on this mode, it is very bright. You can purchase the Nightcore NU33 rechargeable headlamp on the official Nightcore website, as well as on Amazon or AliExpress store of your country. 
But the final words will say that, in our opinion, this is a good, high-quality headlamp, very well thought and well made all around. In addition, having a water and dust protection and powerful battery. It is one of the most technologically advanced headlamps we had. Given that it has a high-capacity battery and its body is half metal, its weight is relatively small and shouldn't be a burden when training, hiking or carrying in your backpack. We believe that one such headlamp covers all the light it needs when hiking and camping. It is very versatile and suitable for many occasions. We'll definitely be glad to take it with us and use it on our next hiking trips, so it can be a helpful piece of gear in the variety of situations. It can also be a great companion when night running, doing night photography and animal observation. Leave us a comment down below letting us know what is your preferred type of headlamp or flashlight. And if you enjoy watching these gear review videos, hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel to never miss new uploads. Press the bell to always stay notified about it. We hope you have a great rest of your day and have lots of great adventures outdoors. We'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye.